The founding of Rome, 753 to 510 BC. According to tradition, the city of Rome was founded in 730, sorry, 753 BC by local tribes people who had established their camps on Rome's seven hills. Legends say that early Rome was ruled by local kings, of whom Romulus was the first. The citizens were Sabines and Latins, who unified to form one town, thinking of themselves as Romans. They were influenced by their neighbors to the north, the Etruscans, and traders from Greece and Carthage who brought new ideas about culture and society. Etruscans. The Etruscans, whose kingdom was called Etrusia, Etruria, lived in a group of city-states which emerged around 800 BC. They were farmers, metal workers, seafarers, and traders, and liked music, games, and gambling. They were greatly influenced by the Greeks, adopting the Greek alphabet, wearing himiton, and believing in Greek gods. Himiton are uh, the white robes, like the toga kind of thing. Uh, many of their ways were passed to the Romans, who eventually took Greek-style culture to its ultimate expression. Kings of Rome. The kings of Rome wore togas with purple borders. In processions, the kings were preceded by standard bearers who carried a fasces, which is a bundle of rods with an axe, a symbol of power representing the king's right to rule over everything else. Legend has it that seven successive kings ruled Rome for 240 years. Kings did not have complete power. They had to contend with an assembly of nobles who grew more influential as time passed. An assembly had a say in electing the king and what he could do, especially in war. The kings formed armies to defend Rome. There were arguments against the kings and the patricians, who are the leading families. The king represented the old ways, and urban Rome was changing. The new elite of patricians eventually overthrew the monarchy in 509 BC and declared Rome a republic. It was the first republic in the history of the world. The Romans did not plan to become a great imperial power. At first, they wanted only to protect themselves and fight off interfering neighbors. However, within 500 years, Rome was to become the center of the Western world, taking over from the Greeks.